the audience can take one thing away from the Evil Dead universe is nobody's ever truly dead. In this case, we said, oh, how can we make the, a total sham out of a funeral, make Ash into the biggest jerk? Damn! You look good, lover! Candace having her jaw ripped off in the fight in the coffin was a mistake. So we had a prosthetic head, and in the shooting, Bruce knocked it and tore something, and we couldn't repair it. But it made for a much better sequence once we actually had that go wrong. How was that for you? Rock is back. Brandy, you know your grandpa's dead, right? Oh. I'm not. Is too. No. What is your problem? He's fine. Let's play that off against Ash. That was key to filling in all the gaps of, of the theme of family. The great thing about working with Lee Majors is in addition to the fact that he's a wonderful human being, a great actor, was a great person to have on the set, he's also a piece of Hollywood that Bruce and I really enjoy. I mean, he was the fall guy. Very few people actually take the music into account before they shoot a scene. It's only in post-production when the whole thing comes together and you see it and you go, oh, that was a great vision. That was a really good idea. I love that Crimson and Clover sequence. The directors of episode three, the Meza brothers, they made the whole scene work to that. They actually had a vision and made things better than it was on the page. 